The new resource is being used by the LAPD. Jeff. Juan and Amy, the LAPD says that it saw between January and May of this year a 60% spike in hate crimes against members of the AAPI community compared to the same period a year ago, which is why the department is teaming up with a year old organization to figure out the numbers that are probably underreported. On Monday, two teens attacked an elderly man in the Bay Area. Hours later, Lyft driver Paul Liao was pistol whipped in South El Monte. Both cases are being investigated as possible hate crimes. After more than 6,600 incidents of hate against the Asian American Pacific Islander community from March of 2020, to the end of March of this year. The record keeping started because of a case in Los Angeles. That involved a middle school child who was uh, attacked on the schoolyard, told that he was a COVID carrier. In fact, told to go back to China. Munja Kukurni co-founded Stop AAPI Hate as a clearinghouse for information because of gaps in record keeping between law enforcement agencies. That they don't always share that information with the Department of Justice, with the FBI, and um, with the state AGs. Our officers are also starting to get these resource cards. The LAPD worked with the group to launch a campaign this month to provide information cards with resources in a variety of languages to victims of hate. Is it fair to say that being able to communicate in a specific language is akin to bedside manner for a doctor? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it makes the uh, individual that we're dealing with feel more, more comfortable with the police department. Deputy Chief Blake Chow says the staggering data is proof the recent attacks aren't one-offs. We as a law enforcement organization and other community organizations still have a lot of work to do you know, to, uh, you know, build up that comfort level, the trust level, and make sure that we're getting everything reported. In the meantime, Kukurni says she's spoken to AAPI families who feel the need to put on sunglasses and masks just to walk out the door. So that they wouldn't get attacked. And I mean, what does that say about our country? Um, that people are so afraid that they have to disguise who they are. And Stop AAPI Hate says of the 6,600 cases that it recorded in that year-long period, nearly half were documented in the month of March of this year alone. We're live in downtown Los Angeles. Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News. All right, Jeff, thanks for that.